Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair of video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today's video will be repairing the iPhone XS Max with Face ID problem, particularly the upper flex cable that is connected to Face ID functionality. The upper flex contains component that, uh, components that work together to enable Face ID feature and those are the proximity sensor and full delimiter in one IC and the ambient light sensor uh, in other IC. I will not go with the details about each functionality, but basically this phone has lost his upper flex and in this video I'm going to show you how to restore or let's say unbund the phone from the original upper flex cable. Uh, I'm guessing this video will be a software repair video except a new upper flex cable modified specifically from GC Repair that will be replacing the original one and the rest of the video will be a software related repair and of course I'll be showing you step by step how to do it. Uh, please be aware, you need to understand that this video is only for the upper flex issue, so please check your infrared camera and door projector before you do you continue with this video. And also, if you lost your upper flex and you restored the phone with other flex or without the flex at all, uh, you need to, after this process, you need to update. And, uh, of course, this feature will not work for uh, after the iOS 16.1.2. So be aware of the uh, software compatibility and that because of the exploit. And of course, this uh, repair works from iPhone 10 till iPhone 12 Pro Max. So those are all the components that are related to today's video repair. So I guess uh, let's begin. Before we get to the repair, I want to show you the components in the flex and the build quality from GC Repair. I will be starting with the connector, which is soldered properly, and to be honest, it's very hard to find the well-soldered components or connectors on those Chinese flexes, so GC did a good job. Uh, the flex is regular Chinese flex, nothing fancy or original feeling, so yeah. Uh, it has a front uh, mic, also soldered properly. To be honest, even the original flex cable have a limited quality, so nothing to complain here, but it's all about the details. Uh, next up is our main encryption or hiding IC that has all the info on some sort of EEPROM that will get the original info from the phone after we unbund, well protected. And of course, uh, the ambient light sensor which is connected directly to the flex, so no individual flex points that are soldered to the main flex. And finally, our fluid illuminator and proximity sensor. Uh, so yeah, everything is soldered well and the quality for me, it's well done. So I guess now we'll be jumping to the process to see if we can put this flex to work. So here we are, my PC screen is connected. We need to connect our GCV1 SE programmer to our PC, and our phone to the GCV1 SE programmer. Also a couple of stuff you need to know. We need to be connected to Wi-Fi on both devices, the programmer that, uh, the program on the phone, the programmer for downloading the app that has an exploit and the phone for trusting the app and getting everything working. Also be aware that this exploit needs a little bit of patience, so it will not work from the first time, and if it will not work, you will need to do everything from the start. Uh, and all of the process will be live experience. Uh, I will not edit anything, so you can just check the steps that I'm going through, and if you had a hiccup, you can also just see how we can fix it. So first thing is uh, you can is to do is to jailbreak and download the exploit. Also, if you don't see the check M8 app on the GC programmer, uh, or on your GC uh, V1 SE programmer, then you need to upgrade your software to the latest one using the GC Repair software on your Windows. Just connect it and it will automatically update. So now we'll just need to wait. You can see that it's still downloading and you can see the steps, follow the steps, trust the app. You also need to be connected, trust, hit again and open the app. Uh, close the tips on the GC programmer, press again unbound, and now let's wait for the programmer to do its work. And you can see, just press OK. We need to wait. The export is going through. For some reason, it's just got stuck, but it's still on the program it says unbonding. So we will still need to wait. Hmm, interesting, it will get a little bit of time, so be patient. Okay, and you can see, oh, whoa, it says no network, 
already connected to my personal hotspot, which is better than my Wi-Fi connection, but uh, let's open and close again. And uh, now what? It's still saying I'm bonding for some reason with the GC programmer, but we'll see the, the final results. It must work. Come on. And you can see phone unbound success uh, succeed and the app uh, just deleted itself because he finished his work. Now let's just press unbound again just to make sure that everything is okay because for some reason let's go and unbound again just to make sure that everything is okay because if not you will again need to go through it uh, all again. Yes, all good. Now let's check the uh, GC repair program. Uh, let's go, just check one sec, yeah, let's go unbond again, three times to unbond, just to make sure that everything is okay, yeah, unbond succeed each time, so everything is okay, now let's go and check our GC repair program, we need to go to connect, repair filtering, connecting, and yeah, for some reason, the GC uh, program or the GCV1 SE doesn't recognize uh, the board so sometimes it doesn't show the right board connected to the programmer which is the upper flex one and now let's just connect our phone to our PC and let's just show you that we have everything sec connect our PC uh, also, I forgot to show you before the video that the device showed everything is bond or bent. Uh, not sure if three tools can show the unbent status, but GC repair program can. Uh, so it must show the factory unbond. Otherwise, let's go to the, our GC repair. Relaunch, because we also need to relaunch because the GC programmer doesn't recognize the board. And it must show the factory unbound, otherwise you need to do all the process again from the start. And unbound status. And yeah, you can see it says unbound. So uh, that means that everything seems to be okay. Let's connect our replacement flex now. And you can see that everything is saying for the radar and from the ambulance. Now let's just turn off and connect flags and connect it again to our GC uh, programmer or to our PC and write the original data on the replacement flags. Uh, let's go to repair filtering, uh, connect and you can see that uh, it says factory unbound, press start, testing and then uh, activate the FPS. After that just for testing uh, press uh, after the writing info, hit start testing again, and uh, yeah, I think we are ready to go to try our replacement flex now. Let's go and uh, remove the cable and now connect our replacement flex to our phone. Make sure that our work is done. We still can check, of course, the face ID function because we need to update the phone. The reason for that is we restored the wrong front camera and face ID flex, the IO camera, but uh, we find the right one and we will update, uh, of course, after, after the testing of the uh, upper flex uh, placement. Uh, we'll be testing it by uh, testing the proximity sensor. And of course, the reason why we didn't update immediately because the phone uh, to, uh, to the latest iOS 16.5 is because the exploit is not supported yet to the latest iOS, maybe in the future, but now we're stuck with this support. So now this is the uh, first half of the <laughs> of the final testing. You can see that the uh, brightness is very, very bright. And now let's test the, yep, yeah, everything looks okay. Now we'll be going to update the device, and after that we'll be checking the face ID functionality and of course the ambient light and the proximity sensor functionality. If then is okay, we'll be connecting everything back and we will have our face ID functionality 
and uh, everything is related to the upper flex cable function back to life. So we just finished uh, updating and now let me show you the GC repair program is that is reading uh, everything now. Let's just go in and plug and plug again. Service timeout. Let's go to the GC uh, program or GC repair program on our PC. And uh, let's just skip this. Waiting for the login. Read phone. And and okay, waiting. And as you can see, uh, we have the IR camera and front camera and the dot projector serial number showing original, but box 70 and ambient light uh, shows original, but uh, the unbend status shows unbound. So now we can check the face ID <laughs> functionality. Let's go and set up a face ID, set up on my face and try to unlock through that the device to make sure that the face ID functionality is working perfectly. Uh, yeah, let's go. I guess uh, beside that, this is a very cool way to restore face ID function if you have missing upper flex, uh, which a lot of repair shops doesn't understand the importance of the upper flex when they change the OLED display. So they just replace the upper flex as well or leave the one that comes with the display. And you can see the face ID functionality is working. It's back to life. Everything is looking okay. The projector is reading, uh, IR camera is working, and of course the proximity and the um, uh, flute monitor is working fine. So, uh, also I hope that when this video comes live in my channel, the exploit will support much, much more iOS versions, or at least the latest version. So I guess, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video, if the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe, have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.